got to hand it to Ken Roxon and Justin Barsha. I had to make a new number plate for, so we'll get that fixed for next time. Um, you're the only one who's got the words to explain that, how that feels right now. I so, love uh, this. Share them I with love us. Kenny's you know emotion. Why? Because this is the OG punk rock style from back in the day. Good yeah, girl. I bought that bike all year long to get it dialed in exactly for him, and for him to pull this off is it's pretty unique. Congrats, Kenny. So the cool thing is he literally is the last Suzuki rider to win a Supercross back in 2016. So it's, it's gapped, but it was Ken Roxon that brought them back into the light for a win. And here we have Hayden Deegan. Deegan crashed toward the end of the main. It was just a little mix up in the whoops. He clipped and uh, went over and it was, it's a bummer because he lost some, he lost some points, but it really wasn't a bad loss. He lost a couple positions and was able to recover pretty well. This was a bummer, a little let down, but he's learning. He's taking, I'm, I'm sure if you go check out his vlog, it'll, it'll talk about this in detail. And I would really encourage you to, they do a great job with everything that they do. I really appreciate the Deegan's clip up. You can see that the wheel cross ruts just a, just a bit, just, just takes one and kicks him off. So comes in sideways. This is kind of dramatic. Chase Sexton had a good run going. Things were good. He was in the second position. He was working it, doing a great job. And then he came around and uh, it, it looks like his foot pegs got caught in the rut and it, and it just drug him forward. So when he, when he went to launch off of the jump, his foot pegs dragged and it caused that front end to drag. It's just a zoomed in look of this dismount from Sexton. It's just a bummer. Now this, this is Thrasher on the podium. And it's one of the things that I most appreciate about Thrasher. It's right here at the end. I just got to be a little bit better. And it was a tough track here tonight. And my Yamaha was working great. And I just got to give us the whole star racing Monster Energy team. I mean, they put a good bike underneath me. And I just got to execute a little bit better. And uh, we'll be on the top step. But, so I like, uh, yeah, he's not making any excuses. Better, but this and, uh, is the key. I'd like to thank the man up above. He makes this all possible. And, uh, the man up above. That's key. Now, it's so interesting is Cooper Webb has been saying, I want to thank the good Lord for a long time. He's been coming back through. Every time he's on the box, he says, I want to thank the good Lord. And here he does. He doesn't miss that once again tonight and it wasn't until he did this over and over and over that nate thrasher then said thank the man upstairs so here take a listen yeah absolutely i gotta look at the big picture and that's a great night obviously the guys uh chase made a big mistake right in front of me and uh honestly yeah i, I rode super tight i was indy I was, was incredibly uh, deep uh, it, like it got rutted out incredibly brutal, incredibly deep and, uh, and uh, like almost everyone had board. a struggle point at some point tonight it, be, even ken but, uh, I was right there with Barsha, and he had a great line in the whoops, and I just struggled all main event and those things. So, uh, like I said, I definitely struggled yeah, all day. Yeah, Barsha was just and, eating uh, him up I'm in the whoops. Have the points lead. That's a great but he held in there. Overall, and uh, we'll take a podium. I definitely felt like I, I could have ran a he little He did overtake the, lead, we'll the points lead. The mistakes that we made there this week and try to be better. So, I uh, want to give it up to the good Lord, the Red Bull KTM team, my mechanic, Carlos, my wife. The good uh, Lord. Girl, Andy, Thor, that is the... Uh, I'm just so, it makes me impressed with Webb because there's just this hunch that when you go and you thank God for what he's doing in your life, that there's a, it's not a blessing because you've been a good person. It's just, you're honoring God. And when you honor God, good things come to you. So it won't shock me if Webb comes out with a win next week. And it won't shock me at all if Thrasher comes out with a win. But things, I definitely want to tell you, go get these things for your toolbox, for your refrigerator. You can have literal number plate custom made for yourself. If you want to clean up, you just pull them back off of a magnetic base. No big deal. And of course, these custom ones are available. Head over to RevMX.com and subscribe.